What's up, everybody? It's time for the next installment of the Kitchen Table series, as I have decided to call this particular little misadventure, uh, because, well, I am on my kitchen table. So, um, and I'm, actually, this is the first time I've done this during the day, and I'm sort of noticing in the background, it looks like heaven or something. I'm so completely like, whoa, washed out, you know, in white light. So, yeah, I guess this is my kitchen table heaven series of heaven had a pot rack in the background. So, um, we are going to tackle the Beat to Paper Planes by MIA. Um, let's give it a quick listen, shall we? Here we go. This is the original. Incidentally, this sample right here is from anybody, anybody, Bueller, The Clash, straight to hell. Oh, heavens. So, um, I don't know why that happens sometimes, but it does, and you can basically just ignore it when it does. Okay, let's just hear a little bit of this verse. Um, you know, we got the intro here, which was the first part of the song when I cut up, then we have the verse. Okay, so um, there's the song, you guys probably know it, um, pretty popular. Incidentally, just a little bit of background. M.I.A., you know, I don't even know her real name. I don't think it's M, and then middle initial I, and then A. I think she just came up with that as missing in action. Uh, but I do know that her folks are from Sri Lanka, and then she came to South London as kind of a relatively young person and grew up there. Her dad was a member of the Tamil Tigers, who was kind of basically a terrorist organization. Uh, <clears throat> you know, or um, revolutionary freedom fighters, depending on your perspective. But uh, the perspective, perspective of most of world governments, Tunnel Tigers are considered a terrorist organization. So she grew up in this kind of refugee, kind of radicalized sort of environment and uh, explains a little bit of her lyrics. Anyway, so here's the imitation. We're just going to like skip forward here and I'm going to let you hear um, what it's going to sound like when we get done with this whole thing. Here we go. Here's the imitation. Kick drum. Here comes the verse. Okay, two snaps for MIA. Um, so I did actually, you might notice here, there's a slight cheat going on. Um, this part right here is the one part of the song that I felt we couldn't really capture with the instruments that are already set up in Pro Tools. It's the finger snaps and that kind of high, well, you'll hear it, it's this. Now, it turns out both of those sounds are pretty difficult to make in Pro Tools, but luckily for us, the end of MIA's song actually contains just that sample, just the part that we couldn't make, so I just sampled it. But the rest of the stuff, actually, um, we're going to make ourselves. Like, for example, this guitar. And this bass. And this hi-hat. And this kick. Okay, so we got five tracks to make. We got one piece of a sample to cut up. Actually, three pieces of a sample to cut up. Because we need the original two pieces of the song, too. All right? So let's do this. Let's start from scratch. I am going to make a new session. And... Oh, did I just make a template by accident? I think I did. Um, let's cancel this, and then one more time. New session. Um, full session, create blank session. There we go, okay. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna call this, as always, as you should call it, first name, last name, dot, Paper planes. Booyah. And of course, where would you save it? You'd save it in your E drive, which you'd find in this list, except that I don't have an E drive here, so like I said. Um, <clears throat> but you're going to save it on the E drive in your home folder. Okay, here we go. Um, I do want to save that. And it's going to open up a new file for me. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is drag in uh, MIA song, Paper Planes. So I'm going to close this puppy up here. 
We're going to move this over. I've got it on my desktop. You're going to get this from Student Work Songs for Projects. Student Work Songs for Projects. Uh, but I've got it right here on my desktop. And it is right here. Paper Plane's full. Am I... I'll just move this back over. You can always just hit the little green button to maximize your screen. So thinking, 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 it's like, yeah, that's a lot of music to analyze. I gotta like write the waveform to this. And there, I'm done. Okay. Um, so we have three pieces in this song that we have to cut. So let's get our cutting done with. The first part of the song that we have to cut is just the intro. Oops, we got a click track here. You won't have this, but I'm just gonna delete mine. Um, so let me pull this down so we have a good view and zoom in and I'm going to back up a little bit and then use my tab key to tab the transients. It takes me right there. I hit command E and I've got my beginning. Okay. All right. Now we have four bars here if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's give a listen. One, two, three, four. Second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar. Two, three, four. Cut. Okay, so we're going to cut right on fly. That kick drum that's hitting right as she says fly. All right, so I zoom in. There it is, right there. Okay, so I'm going to tab the transient, and it took me right there. Command E, and there's my first piece. Okay, let's listen to it and make sure that it turns around nicely. First part. It works. It sounds a little weird that she's like, I flip, you know, but that's just because she's going to launch into the next verse, okay? Um, rhythmically, it's turning around fine. Great. So the next piece that we need is the verse, the piece that's right after that, okay? So I can just continue here. Second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar, two, three, four, boom. So again, it's going to start where she says fly. I look for that same kick drum right where she says fly. Oops, okay, sorry, I should have done that before I zoomed out. Right there, right where she says I fly again. Four bars later, so I zoom in. There's the um, hit that I'm looking for, this little blob right here. Let's see if Tab the Transient will find it. Nope. It's jumping right over it, okay? So this happens sometimes when you're trying to use Tab the Transient. It just doesn't recognize the transient. But you can because you're a person and you have common sense and eyeballs and a brain and all kinds of stuff that Pro Tools doesn't have. So we're looking for this little lump of sound right here. Let me zoom in and on it some more. I want to go into slip mode for this. And I want to get right to the beginning of that drum hit. Zoom, 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 zoom. If you ever saw that show. And right there is the beginning of my wave, okay? So I choose a zero crossing right where the wave is hitting the horizontal axis, and Command E. Okay, zoom back out. Let's listen to our verse loop and make sure that it loops nicely. Perfect. Okay, last piece that we have to cut up is going to be at the very end of the song. And it's that part of the song where we just have that high synth, such a cool sound, man. I don't actually know how he exactly made that song, but I'll, I'll bet somebody spent a lot of time just crafting that synthesizer sound. This one. That's a cool sound. All right. So I want to capture that right from the beginning of that part, which is right there. Okay, so I'm going to tab the transient, see if I get there, and booyah, it took me right there. Command D separates it. And now at the end, really, I just have to trim it to the end of the piece because it's already actually selected for me. Uh, in other words, he does exactly what, whatever it is, two bars of it, and, or four bars of it, and then it just stops. So I, all I have to do is trim it. So I'm going to zoom. Here's a little trick. When you want to get to the end of your piece, and you might have noticed this, when you zoom on a selection, it zooms onto the front of the piece, 
What if you're trying to trim the end of it? Well, then you have to like kind of scroll over. It's a big pain, okay? So check this out. I can just hit the right arrow on my keyboard, and it takes me to the right end of my selection, which is pretty cool. So now I'm going to trim in right to the end there. Let's even zoom in a little bit more. See, and now it's zooming into the end of the selection instead of the beginning. So I take it right to there. Okay, and there's my pieces. All right? All right. <clears throat> now, probably, okay, I can get rid of this piece in the middle. And I'll drag this one over. So there's my three pieces. Each one of them is four bars long. And really, um, I probably should have gone ahead and done my tempo adjusting and all of that before I actually made the second piece. But that's okay. It'll work out. All right. So remember, this is the important part. Before we make this polyphonic, before we tell Pro Tools, hey, stretch this or compress it so that it's four bars, we want to make sure that Pro Tools grid is more or less lining up with the bars and beats of our song. In other words, we want to adjust the tempo of our session to the tempo of the song, roughly. How do we do that again? Let's pick this first part. We zoom in and we look at how many bars uh, in our bars and beats rulers we have right now according to our grid. According to our grid, we have five and a half bars. Remember, I know it's six and something, but the six is the end of the fifth bar. So this is five and a half bars, right? What should it be? Four bars. So this five right here should actually, I need to stretch out my grid so that that five comes to the end of my piece. So let's do that. And how do we do it? We do it by, um, by excessive zooming. Sorry about this. Okay, there's a good view. We do it by changing the tempo. All right, so I got 120, right? So the four is over here. It's too far. I got to stretch it out so that it lines up with the piece. <coughs> So that means I have to slow down the tempo. So let's try 110. Oops, that's 10. That's not what I wanted. Let's try that again. 110. Okay, that 5 is still not getting there, so let's try even slower. Let's try um, 100. Nope, that 5 is still not far enough out. Keep going. Let's try 90. All right, now we're starting to get pretty close, right? All right, so let's slow down a little bit. Let's try 85. All right, now we're very close, but we're a little too far, right? So I know that now I've actually made it slightly too slow because the 5 is slightly past where it should be. So it's in between 90 and 85, and 85 was so close that I'm going to guess it's 86. Let's see. Yeah, and when I zoom in there, I can see I'm right there, right? Um, which means it's a practical issue. This probably was recorded right at 86 beats per minute. Okay. All right, so now I can change my samples to ticks, change my plugin to polyphonic, does this little thinking, thinking thing, and it comes back, and now and only now I can go to Regions Elastic Properties and tell Pro Tools, hey, this is four bars. Boom. Oh. Now I can do that with these other pieces too. Four bars, each one of them. All, right, all I have to do is select the piece, and my Elastic Properties window is still open, so I just keep entering four and hitting return. Now I've, I'm done with the cutting up, okay? So I can, let's go back into grid mode so I can stack these onto each other. Um, I'm going to put my grid at one bar, so that it's really easy to snap, right? Because I can only kind of go like this in these big increments, one bar increments. So I snap it on there, snap this piece on there, and there we go. We're ready, all right? So that's part one of this video. We got our stuff cut up. Next part of the video, we're going to learn how to do the guitar part. The guitar part, because really we're not going to play guitar. We're going to do the keyboard thing, as always. Okay, see you in part two. Ciao.